Never buy wigs from a Facebook ad. What's up guys, it's your girl NT here and that stands for Natalia Taylor. We're here on Friday, surprise video for this week. Um, I normally upload on Mondays, but Fridays are just an added bonus. I wanted to make an extra video for you guys this week because next week I have a couple sponsored videos coming up and I figured before I promote some companies, I gotta drag some companies, okay? Today I am discussing a very unfortunate topic. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a video on this because I am just so damn embarrassed, but I am here and I purchased some wigs and I want to show them to you because it's an interesting story. So like many other people in this world, I wanted to start getting into wigs because it's just a wonderful concept. You just put hair on your head and you don't have to mess with your real hair and it looks 10 times better. And I don't have very good hair confidence. I, you know, since I had to bring my hair back up to blonde from when it was black, it is so dead and damaged and just breaking off. And I'm sick and tired of having to do it and flatten it and curl it and stuff. So I wanted to purchase some wigs. I was on the market. So because I was new to the entire concept, I had zero wig experience. Experience, okay, is that a thing wig experience? I had none. So I did some looking around I didn't really find anything that stuck out to me I mean, I didn't know much about wigs So I wasn't really willing to spend like $300 on a wig and then my man Mark Zuckerberg Okay, he just knew that I was on the lookout for some wigs So while I was casually scrolling through my Facebook feed I came across an advertisement on my Facebook feed as all of us do. But I'm the type of person that doesn't normally click on social media ads because I feel like I don't want the algorithm knowing more than it already does. But a couple weeks ago, early in the morning while I was scrolling through my Facebook feed and I was still in bed, might I add, which may or may not have affected my judgment, I saw an advertisement for wigs. I know what you guys are thinking, okay? But you guys have more wig knowledge than I do. See, I have never been scammed on a wig because I have never purchased a wig. But this this, this has to be the biggest heist of 2019 so far. I swear they looked so legit. <laughs> so we are just gonna take a quick scroll through what I saw when I clicked on that Facebook advertisement so you guys can see what my buying experience truly looked like in that very moment. So here is what their website looks like. It displays on the top lace front, human hair up to 50% off and that's what I knew that I wanted. I obviously don't know that much about wigs but I wanted a lace front because those are just better looking on you and it said that it was human hair I don't know like if it means like Remy human hair but I knew that I wanted a quality wig and if you scroll down here it looks like these are quality wigs they look good on all of these girls all of these girls look freaking banging okay and I I wanted to have that look and I looked at the prices and they seemed decent like $29.98 for this nice luxurious long wig like I was definitely intrigued and the website seemed legit now I'm going to show you the two wigs that I purchased what they looked like on the website so we're going to do kind of a uh, expectation versus reality type of situation here so this is the photo that they had on the website for the first wig that I purchased. It's like a white, blonde, cool, ashy sort of color. I really liked it. I wish my hair looked like this, so I bought it. And it wasn't until after I purchased it that I went back to the website to look at the wig again after I bought it, because I like to do that. After I purchase something, you know, I like to go back and look at it multiple times before it comes in. I get, I get excited, okay? So when I went back to the website to view the wig that I purchased, I was pleasantly surprised to find this. I think that was the moment where I knew. They had completely changed the face of the girl in the photo. That is when you know that the photo was stolen. That is when you know you have royally up. The wigs hadn't even arrived and I just knew. So this is the first wig that I purchased. Beautiful, lovely, stunner. And this is the second wig that I purchased. So it's like a rose gold, light 
pink. It's described as a light pink wavy wig. Now on this website, you have the option to choose your density. So there's 100% normal, 120% thick, and 140% extra thick as in video. And you already know I chose that one. But when you choose 140% extra thick as in video, it bumps up your price to $40. So at that point I was like, okay, I'm spending a decent amount of money on this wigs. Maybe they're actually nice. Wrong. So that's what I purchased. Now I'll show you what I actually got. I'm really sad. I don't really know if words exist to describe how this wig makes me feel. Desolate. Barren and lifeless. Made and fit for habitation or use. Laid waste. Neglected. Destroyed. I will say from about here down, it's not really a bad situation. I mean, it's still plastic. It's still shedding everywhere. I don't think that I can put heat to this. Up here, um, I'll just... I'll just give you a closer look if that's fine. Um, so clearly this is not a lace front wig. <laughs> this is a party wig. Um, it's really interesting because on the website, uh, the contact information says that they're based in Europe, but immediately my confirmation number and tracking number said that it was shipped from China. So. Not really sure how to feel about that. It's a lot different from the picture. It's everything that I would never want. So yeah, this is wig number one. But something's just not right. Like there's just something that's just a little off about it. Also, I ordered this extra thick. You guys know, I feel like they're all the same thickness no matter what you order. So it really doesn't matter. Also, if you look up close, I will give you a quick demonstration. This is what it looks like when you part your hair in this wig. Um, definitely not a lace wig. This is a party wig, um, a costume wig. This is probably something I would wear if I were dressing up like as Kylie Jenner for Halloween, but definitely not something that I would want to leave my house on a normal day wearing. So that is the first wig I have for you. I feel like it wouldn't be that bad if it was a lace front wig and if it didn't have these nasty, streaky, brown things going through it. I have no idea. I know it's supposed to look like root, but it looks like shit. Like someone rubbed their shit on this wig. That would probably make it look better than what it does now. Moving on to the next one. I'm just so sad because I was looking forward to getting these wigs. I'm not sure which one is worse, um, the blonde one or this one. All I know is I am absolutely embarrassed to say that I purchased these and that I thought that this was a legit hair company. I really hope and I pray that this is not real human hair. I don't think it is because it feels so plasticky, but if it was, I am so sorry for whoever's hair got made into this fugly ass wig. Like imagine if this was your hair. Like it took you years and years to grow this beautiful hair and you decided you wanted to sell your hair because it's going to be made into a beautiful wig and this was the outcome. If you're thinking about 
about purchasing a wig, um, I highly recommend you do a little bit more research than I did. Uh, maybe watch some review videos or something. Uh, definitely don't buy from Luxie Hair Lady on Facebook. I've contacted them. They still haven't given me a refund. Will I ever receive a refund? Who knows? Luxie Hair Lady, if you're watching, please give me my refund. I've sent you three emails. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned that you should never purchase a wig off of a Facebook advertisement. I definitely learned my lesson there. Let me know what you thought of these wigs down in the comments below. Would you ever wear either of these wigs? Could I wear either of these wigs? Maybe with a hat. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I upload a new video every Monday, sometimes Friday. I really appreciate all of your love and support. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day.